Hi, this is Sean McGowan for Acoustic Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how to spice up your solos using three different symmetrical scales. The diminished scale, the dominant diminished scale, also known as the half-whole scale, and the whole tone scale. So, let's get started with week one's uh, workout with the whole tone scale. Okay, here we go. Week one, example one. This is a whole tone scale. A whole tone scale is a scale that's built entirely on whole steps. Um, we're going to start on the note G, so we could consider this a G whole tone, but also an F whole tone, an A whole tone, a B to whole tone, etc. So here we go. Um, this is kind of more or less in position with a G. Two and three and four and. <laughs> This works well over a um, an augmented triad or a G7 sharp five chord. All right, here's example two for week one. We're still going to be playing a G whole tone scale, um, but using a pattern that extends uh, to three octaves across the fretboard and back. Here we go. Slow first. One and two and three and go and. example three. Now we're going to play an E whole tone scale that will start in the low E string, but this is an example of um, laying this scale out in a way that produces or yields uh, three notes per string, which is actually kind of a nice way to play this scale. So here we go with example three. One and two and three and four and... <laughs> When you play this scale, um, you can just use the same fingering, and then when I'm, uh, well, with the exception of the open string, I'm fingering at one, two, four, and you can just skip up um, one fret at a time. Except when you cross over the B string, then you have to go up two frets. So it's basically, and then skip up to the second position, skip up to the third position, then skip up to the fifth position, sixth, etc. So that pattern follows really nicely. So even if you started that example on F sharp. It would be still. It would look the same. Or anywhere, actually, you could do it in an F natural. Skip up, up, up one, up two. Here's example three one more time. Three and four and. example of a lick that you can play over a G7 sharp 5 chord that's based on the G whole tone scale. So here we go. 3 and 4 and... Alright, here's example 5. Uh, this illustrates a whole tone scale starting with the root on the A string or the fifth string. So um, we'll we'll play a C whole tone scale, uh, and here we go: three and four and. <laughs> Example six. Here's an example of a whole tone lick, a lead line based on the C whole tone scale. And notice that uh, this can be played over a C7 sharp five, but it can also be played over a C7 flat five or sharp eleven, depending on how you look at it. It's just a, basically a C7 with those two extensions because they're all in whole steps. So here's the lick: three and four and. 